San Francisco, renowned throughout the world as the city that knows how. We are mighty proud of you, San Francisco. Yes, you have done grand things. You have built the world's greatest bridges, built them for those who reside outside of the city. But now, do we San Franciscans really know how to do things for ourselves? Just look at these typical scenes in traffic. Do we know how to solve our own traffic problems? Four tracks on Market Street, and those archaic Market Street Railway one-man streetcars. Strap hanging, slow cars, late cold dinners and two-cent transfers. Uh-oh, just like squeezing sardines into a can. No room for this chap. His seven cents was no good. I will never forget the first time I got caught on that four-track no-man's land. It is terrifying. Let's end this menace to life and limb. And, believe it or not, Mr. Ripley, Market Street handles a larger volume of surface traffic than any street in the world. If San Francisco knows how, then go to the polls November 2nd and vote yes for proposition number one. Provide subway rapid transit to solve our traffic problems. Unless we do provide rapid transit service, we will lose 50 to 100,000 residents who will move across the bay to take advantage of fast bridge trains starting next year. That would mean for rent and for sale signs everywhere. Now look at what fast car service did for the area west of Twin Peaks. We invested $5 million in building the Twin Peaks and Sunset Tunnels. Sand dunes were transformed into beautiful home districts. From this area, we have already collected $45 million in taxes, nine times the cost of the tunnels. Subway rapid transit will bring similar benefits to every district of San Francisco. Subway rapid transit means thousands of jobs for San Franciscans. Subways mean a saving of 15 to 30 minutes travel time on every trip. New York, Philadelphia, Newark, New Jersey, a city one-third the size of San Francisco, and other cities have benefited in amazing development due to subways. Subways mean business for everyone. Subways mean only a seven cent increase in taxes and that increase for not longer than five years. Subways mean five cent fares and free transfers. That's why the Chamber of Commerce, the Central Labor Council, the Building Trades Council and Junior Chamber of Commerce join in endorsing the subway bonds. These and other truly representative organizations urge that you go to the polls on November 2nd and vote yes on proposition number one, subway rapid transit bonds. Show the world that San Francisco knows how. Let's break the Market Street bottleneck and let's do it now. Adolf Yule speaking. San Francisco's major problem is transportation. Buses are the only possible means of improved transportation. Many of the large cities in the United States have removed all streetcar tracks and are operating buses exclusively. San Francisco, the city that knows how, should follow suit. Buses do away with tracks and are noiseless. Streetcars jam traffic. Buses do not. Observe three streetcars unable to pass each other. Buses do pass one another. Note how the buses stop at the curb to load passengers, thereby increasing safety for women and children. Note passengers taking bus, none taking the streetcar. In New York City, buses are operating at a profit. The fare is five cents, transfers two cents. All sections of San Francisco should be provided with fast bus service, and this applies particularly to the outlying areas like the Sunset, Bay View, and Ocean View districts. A fast bus service will materially aid the development of these districts. I urge you to vote yes for buses Proposition number five on voting machine, the bottom line.